chat. So. Up, oh, mine is empty. However, I am going to see if I come online. Do I come online? Refresh. As I wait for refresh, give it a minute. It only what? takes two and a half years. We're through uh -huh. year one now. Now for year two. Now for half if years. If you're going to type in the chat, please make it more clear. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. It's taking this long to refresh. Thank oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I online? That's Those in our chats, we only speak English. We don't speak any other languages that I know of, at least. Uh, I want to speak German and Russian. I can't, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a person here that speaks Russian. All right. But perfect. <laughs> it's live. Success. Yeah, exactly. Slow clap or something. I don't know. <laughs> you ready to do the intro, then? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't remember any of this stuff. <laughs> it's just our intro, us introducing ourselves, welcome everyone back. Yeah, well, hello, welcome, I'm Headset Freak. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm PC Death Gamer. In fact, welcome here's back the thing, to... nobody else <laughs> on the video actually heard, at least on my video, everything before that, because I wasn't streaming then. Haha, -ha, I don't seem like an idiot! Okay, I seem like an idiot anyways. Oh well. As soon as I started the call, I have been streaming. <laughs> <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> yes, I'm a jackass like that. Anyway, this is the second episode, or second stream, of the To Be Named podcast. I just realized We're I too fucked late. up my it's quotes. I accidentally made it apostrophes and not quotation marks in the tweet. Well... <laughs> Oh my gosh! Hey, I'm totally not out of it right now. Or at all <laughs> having issues. I'm not high. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't actually do drugs, so I'm not. It, no, I'm not drunk this time at least. Oh yeah, you were. You, you had some alcohol in your body last time, that is true. <laughs> this time there's none at least. The it's way I put that, it sounds like it's violating you. You had some alcohol in your body. <laughs> <laughs> what do, we, do you want to bring up your first topic, or... Uh, <laughs> well, actually, hold on, I want to talk... Have you played the game Red Orchestra? No, I have not. I recently got that on Steam when it was on sale. I love it. I love it so much. Specifically because, one, it has my two favorite countries, top favorite countries, they're tied for first place in my list of countries I love, Germany and Russia. U.S. is right now third place. I love you because I live here, but... I was just saying, that would be the only reason... But that's about it. I live here. I hear about you all the time. Anyway. So, yeah, it's uh, based in World War II, though. And it's supposed to be, you know, Russia and Germany. So, USSR and Nazi Germany. And you fight. Your and it's really good. I like it. It's a great tactical shooter. Obviously, it's a video game, so it's not super realistic. But I, I rate it high on the scale of headsets grades on realism. Which are probably not all that great. I will say. Since all but you I mean, play strategy games. It's a, yeah, I play strategy games a lot. It's a tactical shooter, so, I mean, it's kind of the point. So, and they're XCOM, basically. No, not XCOM, though. Because it's first oh, person, so it's... and you actually do a multiplayer. Oh, oh damn. Okay. It's basically, imagine Arma 3, except a little bit more simplified and a lot less graphically unappealing. <laughs> I don't know. I find Arma 3 graphically unappealing, but that's because I can only run it at a very poor rate because Arma 3 has a huge world. So... But yeah, it, it's pretty decent. I've been enjoying that quite a bit. I p already put, um... How many hours? A number of hours. There you go. 33 hours into it, and I've only owned it for four days. So basically, I've spent over a day of the four days I've owned it playing it. <coughs> Okay. So yeah, I've been doing that. That's been my spare time for the past uh, few days while trying to deal with work. And D&D. &D. Yeah, that too. <laughs> hey, how's your work doing? Oh wait, he works for the military. You can't talk about that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Are you trying to get me to mute you again? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to edit that out of the video? I don't work... <laughs> For anyone particularly, but I work in the medical field, yes. <laughs> and it's chaotic, especially with the new disease that's coming around. 
There are new diseases. Yes, the one that everyone's getting from South America and Africa. Okay, time for me to rate, make a really stupid joke. Ebola? <laughs> <coughs> no. It's a Zika virus. I have no clue what that is. Time to use the power of the internet. <laughs> Basically, Zika virus, it <coughs> it's only had about five cases here in the States. And it's people that are coming back from South America, areas like um, Brazil. Mm. We've only had the two cases where uh, newborns being born with it where their face is egg sh their whole head is egg shaped. So all right, yep, sounds lovely. To, so we're forbidding anyone right now to go there. So yeah, it's fun for us. Hmm. Well, you know, don't worry about it. I'm sure that eventually it'll just kill the world, and then you will all know that you have failed. No, okay. No, as, as a bunch of my coworkers are making comments on it, we're all calling it the Z virus. Mm. Zombies. Virus. No. no. <laughs> yep. Of course. Why? Because zombies dominate. Dominate. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's because a bunch of us are uh, watching um, Z Nation too right now. Oh really? Oh, you know what? Speaking of shows about diseases, funny enough. I watched, apparently it was a horror show, I did not realize this until I watched it. I watched Helix. On Netflix. Oh. I don't know, have you seen that at all? No. Hmm. You know, I, I thought it was interesting. I didn't actually understand the horror aspect, partially because I guess I didn't find it all that horrifying, but maybe that was just my brain saying it doesn't want to accept that it's a horror show. I was trying to figure out the word. Oh, wait, I forgot our podcast isn't just about games or anything, it's about random bullshit. <laughs> no, exactly. It's not about anything in particular. It's about whatever the hell. <laughs> Which is probably mm -hmm. why it's never been named. Yeah. And probably why we don't get that many views. <laughs> oh, well. Well, wait, that wouldn't make any sense, because people usually want... Well, actually, no, it depends on the kind of podcast, I guess. Yeah, let's say. Because some people watch them specifically for sports stuff, some will watch them for other things. You know what? We just made this because we wanted to. So what? It doesn't have to be about anything. Well, actually, it's going to probably center around video games as it is anyway, because we like those. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I watched that show, and uh, it got dark towards the end. I liked it. It was also really weird <clears throat> at the same time. I can see why it got canceled. Well, well what? <laughs> I don't know. Few shows I've noticed have been canceled. Well, there's actually, there's a game that I was playing recently, like you were playing Red Orchestra. Mm hmm And this one might actually catch your attention, not because of the game or the company who created it. It's the company that bought the game. Oh, now I'm interested. All right, let's go. <laughs> yep. Well, the game was Vampire: The Masquerade. It's basically, just I've you know, heard um, of it. Dark. Yes. What came out? Mm hmm uh, last year, I can't remember precisely when, during the summer or fall. During a time. Basically, it was, a, <laughs> it was a original of that one, but basically you're just a vampire going around, killing humans, trying to survive. Well, it was created by White Wolf Publishing. Yeah. Paradox Interactive bought them. What? Back in October, Why? yes. Why would they buy them? Why? Back in October. Yeah, but no, why would Paradox buy them, though? I don't... I, why? I, I can't think of why they would buy that publisher. White Wolf, uh, specifically. Let's see. That's weird to me. I'm looking at my link for everything on it right now. Um, yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me, because I know Paradox for strategy games. Strategy? Strategy games. Not really... Vampires? Uh, uh. The dog well, is laying in the corner on a blanket. <laughs> uh, the, 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 uh, it's a new section of Paradox where they're going basically working on um really? like RPG strategies. Really interesting. Because uh, I mean, White, White Wolf Publishing's team wasn't really able to do much on their own, so they joined up with Paradox. Mm. 
Well, that, that'll be interesting. I wonder what will come from that. I know that Paradox works really in a weird fashion, because the people who work on Crusader Kings 2 and EU4 work completely separately. Which doesn't make a lick of sense. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, because you haven't played both the games, but... They're more or less... They have the same mechanics, yet they don't work together. So there are things in some, one that's better mechanically than things in the other, and you just go, why don't they put this in the other one? Uh, uh... Paradox is weird, but I love them because they make some of my favorite games that I can log hundreds of thousands of hours into. Hundreds of thousands? Probably more like thousands of hundreds, but still! It's been very, very fun for me so far, other than doing other things, like math. Because <laughs> I do love math, oh, so much. Uh, oh! Uh, it's, yeah? It's either that people are just randomly clicking on something, or we're getting more people during this time than we did last time. You are. <laughs> I got four people in my stream right now. You are. I'm completely empty. <laughs> Eh, uh, you know, screw uh -huh. me. <laughs> but you end up getting a whole bunch more on YouTube for some fucked up reason. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's just, you know, the world's backwards and doesn't work in ways that make sense at all. Yeah. I mean, you want something done right? Don't ask somebody <laughs> else to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not even do it yourself, just don't ask somebody else to do it. <laughs> then it works just fine. Well, I... I was actually asked a question recently, too, on YouTube. Really? That I thought would, would have been something good for us wait, on the podcast. Wait, a thoughtful question on YouTube? Yes. Wow. Yes. Alright, let's hear this. I am well, interested to see how this The person goes. asked, want to know my opinion. And when I look at games, which one do I go by? Do I go by on companies review scores for games like IGN, Rock, Paper, Scissors, PC Gamer Magazine? Rock, Paper, Scissors, isn't it? Rock, Paper, Shotgun? Rock, rock Paper, Shotgun. Yeah, yeah. shush. <laughs> I'm sorry. As bad as you, I... No, we're both terrible shocked. people. and We're just going to correct each other even though it really doesn't make yeah. a difference. <laughs> or, like on Steam, how you have the other players can review it. Which one do I go by? And what's my opinion on both? Mm. Well, I answered it during my thing. I want to hear yours first before I state mine again. Alright, sure, yeah, uh, well, for me it's kind of a combination, right? I'm not, obviously most people probably do a combination, you're not just going to look at one section and go, Yup, I'm going to base everything off that, but... Now, I tend to see if the official reviews are good. Every now and then I'll kind of check the Steam reviews, but otherwise I top, I put above all else any kind of beta or free thing I can get into where I can just look at it. That's what I trust over everything else, my personal experience with it. If I can get into a free bait of any kind, if that is not available to me, it's going to be official reviews, a lot of extra research, and maybe some people reviews. Okay, so that's which one you would choose. Now, what's your opinion on both? What's my opinion on how both? Much, like, how much time they spend on it... Uh, to get everything when it comes to official reviews, I don't know how much time they spend on it and stuff like that. All I know is that, you know, some are supposedly more reliable than others. As far as I'm concerned, I'm concerned, I use the official reviews to get a general consensus. You know, do people generally think the game is good? And then, you know, I'm, if I'm getting it on Steam, it also has the overwhelmingly positive and other things, right? And I look at that and mm -hmm. I go, do people here generally think it's good? And then I look it into it and go, will I even bother enjoying it? Will I like what's in it? Right, so then I do extra research. But that's usually for big games and stuff like that. Things that don't cost a lot, I don't usually look into as much. Right, because to me it's not as big a deal. But also, if I don't care as much. Or I know it's highly esteemed. Like Fallout, for example. I bought the original Fallout, and I didn't even bother looking into that, because I figured it's probably pretty good. So yeah, yeah, variables, but for the most part, I have a few ways I go about it. Okay. Well, I guess it'll be my turn now. Yeah, I would like you to know what. No, else. I would like to know what you do. Uh, well, I'm looking up your Twitch channel so I can populate your channel's <laughs> stupidity. <laughs> okay. 
well, from what I do know about professional people out there, like PC Gamer Magazine, they're giving a s snippet of the game where, before it's released to the public and everything. Yeah. And they're they're allowed to play as much as that as they want to get as much detail as they want for their stories. Stories being from a, a whole page to five pages, depending on where it is in their articles and that. They're only they're only seeing that viewpoint, and they're seeing so many different games out there constantly. That they're just going, okay, this is this is what's in this game. This is what was good. This is what they could improve. But a gamer such as like myself, if I, since I recently was playing just a free game on Steam, Lost Mythologies. Oh, really? Is which is that a free game? Which I, I know it was something you purchased. No, it's free. Oh, all right. Because so uh, it's know. made by only four people. Mm. And they're limited amount of time, <coughs> so yeah. Mm. With their limited amount of time, they couldn't do much. So they're slowly releasing it. Um. Alright. So I, I was playing it, noticed a few bugs myself, and then while I'm playing it, I started noticing glitches and all that. I'm going, okay. And I'm going. Just as I was doing just a little preview of it. And I'm going through it going, okay. This is what I like. This is what I hate. But it counteracts this with this and all that. <coughs> I think most gamers, when they look at a game, they see a game. Take like, good example, ESO. Not going to state anything on my opinion on that because, of course, my friends heard that enough that they watch or are hearing this uh -huh. right now. I wonder, is my live but, feed black? That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but they, everyone had so much hype for it because they were saying, oh, it's going to be just like Skyrim, blah, blah, blah. And then, <laughs> a lot of people gave it negative reviews. It just farted, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> it was crap, basically, when it first came out. Uh, so a lot of people were complaining about it, wanting their money back. And all that. Hmm. So gamers just compare games to others and well, oh, this one was better, but they don't worry about that. Only time I, when I look at a game, most games, yeah, I use the actual uh, professionals. I'll use PC Gamer Magazines, Rock Paper Shotguns, IGN. I'll use all of them to see, okay, how well is the game, get some information on it before I go and buy it. Only time I use the Steam ones or other players' comments is when I, it's something like Lost Mythologies or any free game that I can easily just download and I'll play it right there and then. Yeah. No. Cause I, then it, okay. I can see that. I can see how you would do that. That sounds like something you would do, actually. <laughs> well, that's what I said during the little episode that I answered that question in. So. Hmm. Interesting. No, I, I'll admit, I can... I don't entirely do that all the time, right? Because I just don't do that. I like to get all the sources that I can. Yeah. Every single one of them. So that entitles, you know, again, looking at the Steam stuff and other things. I don't specify in certain areas or specialize. But yeah, no. I, I mean, everyone's got their own way of doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like opinions. <laughs> Everyone's got one. Just to me, if you want to express it. Mm hmm. And, uh. So. What's here? Uh. Oh, what was that thing I was going to mention, though? Uh. What was it called? It was, uh. Oh, yeah! Sven Co op. I told you about that recently. Yes. Uh, how that came out. When that finally came out on Steam, I wish I had heard about it before. It was apparently a mod. It was very sad to hear the, to not yeah, have heard about that it was earlier. A, as a mod, I went, what? You know, I was very sad to, you know, not hear about it earlier. As I just stated, I'm well, repeating myself now. <laughs> well, the sad thing is, most mods, when they go to an actual standalone game, yeah, I'm not going to mention one from the past, Daisy. Oh, but that one. They're, they're ne they normally term to crap. So. What do you mean? Daisy's not crappy now. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're crazy. <laughs> I, 
I, I, I've, I've never actually really played DayZ, um, but <laughs> I know that people did not like it after it got... No, know, well, that's why a lot of people went back to Arma 2's DayZ. Yeah. They're trying to put DayZ back, uh, bring them out of Arma 3. So. Eh, you know, just sometimes you take a gamble and it doesn't work. Like, you know, the Fine Brothers trying to copyright react. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I heard about recently. I looked at that and I thought, did you think that was going to work? <laughs> I, I don't even want to give them a lot of hate for it. I'm just saying, guys. You, the, the, people logically. have tried this before. Yeah. People have tried this before and it's never worked. And it's always gone badly for them. Why are you following yeah. in their footsteps? And this is why I say history is important. Because <laughs> yeah. I can look back at that and I can go, hmm, maybe we should try something else. But oh well, again, that's the whole point of the gamble, right? Sometimes it pays yeah. off, sometimes it doesn't. Would have been great to root out competition, I'm sure. So what about Sven? Oh yes, but Sven, right? It had one of the things that I was always kind of wished existed beforehand. Half-Life Co-op. Which is why you brought it up to me since I mentioned multiple yeah. times to you. Half-Life Co-op is a beautiful thing that doesn't exist and should. Just like Half-Life 3, but that's a different conversation for another day. <laughs> uh, you mean Portal 3, right? Uh, anything that Valve makes with a 3, basically, yes. Um, Meh, I don't think there should be a TF3. Okay, that one you're right, but uh... <laughs> Thank you. Left for Dead. Basically, yes, Val Left for Dead, <laughs> The problem is Life Portal. I'm sure everyone's heard the shebang a thousand times, but my my theory is that the main problem with these games never coming out is because they don't need to do it to make money. So or they're or they're an Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or perhaps Game Newell is secretly Illuminati and he's controlling the gamer part of the world. Donald Trump is controlling the Republican part of the world. And Hillary Clinton is controlling the Democratic part of the world, specifically the U.S. And since I'm American, that's all I care about, right? And the sidemen control the U.K.'s? Sorry, that's no, that's no topic for me. <laughs> uh, stereotypes. This, this is another question that came up on my thing. But anyway, about Sven. The, no, that that's all I have to say about it. I mean, I, it has Half-Life co-op. That's something I've always wanted, and they never did, and they should have. Heck, they could have made it a paid DLC and made a ton of money. Kind of like FTL and the whole idea of having a versus mode or cooperative <coughs> mode. I'll say something that we mentioned multiple times and still nothing. Mm -hmm. Still, I, I'm here in context. I don't now. expect people to see that, you know, to see see this podcast that made those games and actually do it. But come on, people, you have great money making say, opportunities. There's a thing called Reddit. Come on now, you have great money making opportunities. I'm surprised that subset yeah. games, the people who made FTO, haven't done that just because, hey, let's make a ton of money so we can make another game that's really good. Or maybe well, they're just actually, done. we got mod creators out there, too, that can just create the mod for us. Exactly. That, I mean, they could pull a, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, what's that game called? It's, uh, oh, I'd have to look at it. I think it's in my Steam library, but, oh, you know what? Actually, I got a better example. They could pull a Five Nights at Freddy's, and they could just pull everything from the community and start using that. Because yeah, I'm willing to bet money that there's no way on earth the Five Nights at Freddy's story when the guy originally made the game was that complicated. Then the community started theorizing and he went, no, you know what, let's feed the sharks. Well, it was the first one, that, it was all his original, yes. Two, three, four, and five were not his. They were the community stories add-ons. That's my point, though, exactly. It's a matter of... You know, one of the beautiful things about having a game with a large following, or a community of any kind with large following for something like that, anything that these people theorize, you can look at and you can just go, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Mine. Yeah. Which I think is a beautiful thing. It's one of those things that I look at and I go, you know, why wouldn't you? It's a great resource. It really is. And it's, it's awesome when you see people do that because, you know, you can look at that and you can go... Pretty sure they didn't have that in the works the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, for example, TV shows where oftentimes, although these TV shows have these elaborate stories and stuff like that, the writers are writing the season before the next season begins. Yep. They're, they're actually doing it fairly in current with whatever season is playing, right? 
at least. Or if they're like The Walking Dead, it's actually the yeah, it's based off in production for the next season, and it's they're writing two seasons ahead. Yeah, exactly. The, you know, you're so many seasons ahead because, like, or not, you need to be ahead in case something happens, but also you're a couple of seasons ahead, so you have those in the bank. Because let's be honest, the people who act on those shows don't just act on those shows. Not all of them, at least. Yeah. I feel like I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I know that so you have us talk about our topics, yeah. yeah. You you well, haven't really had a lot of more. and I have a problem with interrupting, but <laughs> you haven't had a lot of speaking time and I, maybe it's just because if I get started it's hard to stop. I think that's your thing, yes. Uh, did, that's why I just let you go. Yeah. Get, getting me started is the difficult part, usually. It's just no, one not with me. I just get you started. Well, this is different, though. In any other environment, you know, if someone meet me in person, right? You get you, it takes a lot to get me to even talk to you, let alone acknowledge your existence, because I probably no, hate you. I think you. if I met you in person, I would get you talking right away. Well, we know each other, but I'm saying just randomly on the street, it, I wouldn't talk to any. I'd probably just ignore people, even in. A random public setting with a friend, it's, you know, just, meh, sit back. Yeah, quietly. I'm trying to figure out how you admit nugs. <laughs> how do I, what? Well, how it's kind of interesting, because both of us... Which? <coughs> oh, go ahead. No, alright. We're, we're both two very polite people who will never, ever want <laughs> to be the impolite person, so I'm just going to start being the impolite person. So, <laughs> the thing with nugs and me is that sometimes the thing is that we both talk over each other, but we're still able to hear each other. And have the conversation at the same time while saying things at the same time. It's weird. It's one of those things where if you're not those people, you don't quite understand. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's it's weird and different and also very enjoyable sometimes. And, yeah, a lot of people would probably argue, no, you two definitely have no clue what you're talking about, which is partially true. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, as long as you can do, make the thing go... It works. Yep. I'm a wheel. That's what I am. I'm a wheel. You get me rolling down a hill and I won't stop. <laughs> but once I hit a rock, yeah. I'm stopped for a while. <laughs> I'm a big heavy so metal wheel. just right over and just wobble and keep going. True. That or I'm a giant weight and I just slide down the incline. And why am I describing myself like an anvil? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> ah, you know, Ooh. just... I'm an anvil. I weigh everything down. Never cling to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what's going on with these analogies for yourself, not me. <laughs> eh, I don't care. I like how you named yours episode two. Mine is just to be named podcast. Well, so it's Hasn't less changed. work for me to when I transfer it over. Uh, You just click the thing and change the title. Edit, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Human uh, human laziness laziness has gotten us very far. It's why we have computers. So Yeah. <laughs> Although someone would say it's not laziness, it's efficiency. There's a fine line between those two things. Well But I was yes. actually asked two questions. One about the podcast and one about something else which I made a reference to earlier, which the first thing was in our last podcast. Mm -hmm. Done back here in November, December. We mentioned something about special guests on our thing. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. Oh, one the one the someone that I know through Steaminet saw him asked, "When do we plan on having a special guest?" When do we plan on having a special guest? That is to be determined. No pun intended. <laughs> Actually, wait. Why would I say that? Pun intended. God, there's a pun in that. Uh, I'm just used to saying no pun intended but, because I tend to make puns on accident. Well, they came up with the idea, pattern where it's like every five or ten episodes, pattern where we have to just bring yeah. someone in. It's not a bad idea. It's random. It doesn't have to be even that regimented. It could just be, eh, we feel like having somebody on board today. <laughs> hey, you'll oh, do. <laughs> yeah. But, which, yeah, uh. I see that. <laughs> which, speaking of nugs. He made a funny earlier today. He made a funny earlier? Wait a minute, you communicate to Nugs? I yeah, haven't like, talked to I him. Asked him a, I asked a question to him on Skype. I haven't talked with him for... Well, I talked to him last night, technically, through Skype, but I basically haven't had a conversation with him, except in the car oh. once, for a few weeks. 
I've gone into anti-social mode again. I'm just living as a hermit again for another month or two. Well, I... I asked him if he still played Minecraft. And he went, no, I don't, not unless I have a craving for it, like, I, like crack or something. I was just seeing. Then he made a reference. Why don't you ask headset? Well, I mean, you know, I uh, I play Minecraft uh, about as much as pigs fly, so <laughs> you gotta say, fairly commonly, I, actually, according to people. But uh, I I watched his correlation craft and seen how you reacted to 1.8 updates. Yeah. yeah, it was a whole new game. <laughs> well, <laughs> sadly, after he said that, you know, I don't think he would join it because I'm talking about doing a mod it thing with someone else. So. A mod it? I mean, trying to get me through mods in Minecraft would be a difficult and difficult, difficult and difficult, long and difficult process for whoever is trying to explain to me how Minecraft mods work. Well, yeah, especially since the mod pack I was, I'm trying to get, it would be two, if it's just two people, you're both separated where you can't help each other? I, I'm not really bothered by that, but... <laughs> you be lost! Yeah. Just build a tower up in the sky and live there. <laughs> uh, you're start on the sky block. Shit. Build a tower to the <laughs> ground and live there. <laughs> There's no ground, it's devoid. Live on the sky block. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what you have to do. You yeah. have to so that's actually work called your way sky block survival or something, right? That's, that exists in Minecraft? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know Minecraft. Yeah. I don't play it anymore. No, you don't. I played it anyway. in a long <laughs> time ago, and that's where it stopped. Yeah, when the water was still safe. When the water was still safe. Yeah, I pl last time I played it, the water was still safe. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Last time I played yeah. Minecraft, the water was still safe. Back in my day! Alright. But anyway, another question I, I was asked, which... wasn't about the questions. Or I don't get asked anything. I feel left out. Well, <laughs> well this one was directly messaged to me during uh, one of my live streams I had. Mm -hmm. Since I was talking about all oh, the friends and that, how we're like a big group, they came up with other YouTube groups out there, like The Pack, Sideman, uh, Gang Grump, and all them. <laughs> well, okay, I've heard about some of them, but, you know, I always find it interesting when you see that. There's a thing about YouTube that I find interesting where you can connect every single large ish YouTuber to each other through multiple yeah. different connections. I've actually even done it. I once had a, I think I deleted it forever ago, but I once had a, you know, basically, all right, conspiracy theorist board, I'm just going to call it that, with lines and sticky notes, except it was on the computer. <laughs> to everything, it was just, you know, this person is connected through this person in this way. This, this is why I do when I'm bored. <laughs> so, yeah, I know, uh, I can tell. <laughs> So, you know, this person is connected to this person through this way, and then this person is connected to all these people, and all these people are connected to all these other people, and then these people are connected to those people, and yeah, it just goes on and on and on, right? And then I look at it, and I just kind of go, hmm, it's funny how it's all one big community, in a sense. They could all really get connected if they wanted to. They all know somebody, and they could all ask, hey, can I talk to this person through you? But, yeah, obviously well, that sounds a little bit weird when I say it like that, but I'll talk to them the through you. The person's question to me was, of the groups that I talk with, is there a plan to make either of them some, a small like little grouping of gaming community? Something like, um, shit. I'm trying to think how to put it. You don't, you don't know any of the major ones. Uh, what, Polaris is the most I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not actual gamers or... Um, just like YouTubers being in groups. I mean, um, not in particular, no, because I'm not big on celebrities or paying attention to those things, but... Well, they were just asking, since I'm technically part of two groups, uh, do the groups plan on making where they're someone like... I'll write the reference again, the Sidemen, a group of seven YouTubers, more like five, that <clears throat> all just play together... Every so often, don't have to go as big as some of them and move into the same house with each other or anything. Just 
how we're a group that just plays together. Yeah, it's funny that you bring that up, because I'll admit, I never had plans for any of that, and I haven't really done anything with any of the... It's funny, there are videos on some of the other people that, you know, I somewhat know, I don't know them that well, sadly, um, but some of the other people I know of me being in them, but somehow due to technical difficulties, because my life is amazing, I was never able to upload pretty much any of those. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Correlation Craft, right? <laughs> yeah, Correlation Craft is a good example, right? That was a group of, you know, that was me, Nugs, a person I will not name anymore, and a few other people. <laughs> Pierre and Omega. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> who I rarely yeah, I talk to. Another one either. Yeah, and the people who I rarely talk to and just don't do anything with either, <laughs> ever. Just in general. It's not because I don't like them, I just. Don't I'm again I'm an antisocial person. Although I talk a lot, that's because I'm comfortable with the one person I'm talking to. I consider you a friend. Lucky you. That's a rare occurrence. So <laughs> you're on a list of less than tens two. of people. It's probably two. I'll say yeah. it's only two. <laughs> yeah, because like it or not, sadly the others are kind of more of acquaintances than anything else. I barely talked to them or done anything in particular. So yeah, the list only goes to about two or three people. <laughs> And I then didn't it stops. on that list. Me and Nugs. <laughs> yeah. So it's funny that you mention that kind of stuff, because I see all these group things form and stuff like that. I look at it and I go, you know, I'll admit that would solve my problem of playing games and then going, man, too bad I can't get other people to play this. But the problem is that the games you people play and the games I play are drastically different. Most of the time. A good example is Europa Universalis, right? That's a game that... Yeah. One, learning curve, which we all know how certain people handle learning curves. And two, I'm not even naming people, I'm just saying people in general, just as humans. Some people are terrible with learning curves. Oh, yeah. But, That's yeah. That's at anyone. But, yeah, so, you know, got a big learning curve. Very complicated, but very fun once you kind of figure it out. And it's, again, it's got a multiplayer that really could probably be used more. I'd probably enjoy it if I had somebody else to play with, but I just don't. Well, I told you I was actually going to get it for Christmas, but then, of course, lost my account and lost the money. So that was back. that was sad. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what? On the bright side, you got it back. I got the account back. Yeah, but I had four hundred dollars that I got from Christmas lost. Oh, really? Oh, maybe that's what they were after. <laughs> yeah, they took the money and gave me crap guns and CS:GO for them. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think that's kind of funny. Let's see, how do I want to mess with this guy? I know, spend his money on CSGO. What? Well, no, it was things that it was his own. Oh, uh, um, I see. So no, was, I, I don't know, was I wasn't selling there. them. I just don't think it's a funny thing, though. And I, don't even think I, I don't even think I use those guns. Yeah, nonetheless, I mean, yeah. You no, I don't fix. use the 5.7 at all. I mean... Let me put this way. There's a reason why I don't put money in Steam. <laughs> that being one? Yeah, that being one. Right? That kind of risk. But I, I'll admit, although nothing bad like that happens to me all that often, I'm one of the most paranoid human beings on Earth. I'm the guy who checks to see if his keys are in his pockets every ten seconds because I don't trust the people around me and expect them to steal them. <laughs> When I'm out in public. So I'm the guy who's constantly got his hands near his pockets or something like that. Just waiting for somebody to try something. It's kind of sad, but I'm also not out in public all that much. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Again, antisocial. Yeah. <coughs> Sadly, we're both antisocial. I told you this. Yes, we both are antisocial people. It's funny. Nugs and I almost used to, in a sense, compete over who was more antisocial. Then he started doing social stuff, and I kept on telling him, no, you're not. And then he finally said, fine, I'm not, forever ago. I think it's funny, though, because I, I, I love N bless his heart, Nugs, but recently, you know, Skype conversation, private conversation, he asked me to come do something that was, again, a social thing, right? And in my brain, I'm going, yeah, dude... I'd love to say yes, but I'm not comfortable doing that. It's kind of yeah. like, you know, for example, I asked him once if I could borrow something. He said, oh, yeah, no, you can come over and watch it. And my and the thought that went through my brain was, I'm sorry, man, but I want to watch it by myself. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to go watch it with other people. I like you. You're a friend of mine and all, but you're still another human being. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Nonetheless, and we would probably do nothing but talk the entire film, and then I wouldn't know what happened. But, uh... Because <laughs> we did watch Sharknado together. That was interesting. <laughs> That was the most social thing I basically ever did. That was the most, in a sense, teenage thing I ever did in my life. When it comes to stereotype teenager. Wait, what? What is this teenage life? There exactly. I don't life. know. I know. There's this weird stereotyped teenage life where you go out and hang out with your friends all the time. You go to the movies. I, I don't understand it. It exists. There I don't know why no it's there. Such, there was no such thing for me at all. There is no such thing for me. I'm just saying I know it exists. Well, you're still gonna find it, luckily for yourself. I can't. <laughs> you're old. Anyway. <laughs> Ow, shot fired. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you're a mutated cow human. Uh, the I only live to be thousands of years old, okay? <laughs> and I only speak like a human, act like a human, and talk like a human, although I'm a space cow. Uh, just, that's what I said. Uh, ugly mutated cow human. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there, that there my race is. That you want to bring up? I'm sure my race is proud of me, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, God. Just <sighs> fired at each other constantly. All right, but um. No, I, I do want to go back to that group thing really quickly. I think it's funny, though, that those kinds of things form, because that's one thing that I've never looked at and thought about, partially because I'm, again, not social. I will go back to that and say that as an excuse for many things, but it's the actual truth. And, uh, yeah, just that's one of the things that kind of never really popped in my head until Coalition Craft happened, and I just kind of went, huh, I guess that's a thing that could happen often if we hadn't just abandoned it altogether. <laughs> Well, the reason the person brought it up on mine was because, of course, I brought up Pierre, who was live streaming, Omega, who was live streaming. Wait, Omega still does things? Wow. <laughs> this was a while ago, not <laughs> recent. Uh, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, brought up Nugs. You and say that like you don't like him. <laughs> Well, no, I was just I was bringing it up because I, nah, I was I'm, answering our wrong questions. I'm messing with you. How do I compare you. myself to my friends who are YouTubers? Yeah. No, I was just messing with you. But it just sounded harsh the way you said nugs. But it's true. <laughs> you can't really say it without sounding kind of harsh. Nugs. <laughs> I was saying it's nugs. But I was bringing it up, and they went, well, do you see all you forming a group? I'm like, yeah. Did we find off who, who would be the one in charge of everything? Well, that's the other thing, right? Why do people think there needs to be a leader? That's the part that always confuses well, me. The thing was, when they asked me that question, I was playing CSGO and Pierre was on. So. <laughs> and yet Pierre was trying to tell me what to do something. Like, uh, no, I'm going to go this way and watch. we'll see who survives. Oh, you mean in CSGO? Well, here's the thing. I consider myself a strategist, right? And I'll admit, Nugs has told me that at least in CSGO I'm a good leader, although personally I don't consider CSGO a strategy game. Or, oh, even so much no of or even that much of a tactical smart. shooter. I just do things that people have probably done before, but I come up with it on my own accord, or do things that people don't expect. I'm a little bit experimental in that regard. But I have been told by quite a few people that I am at least a decent leader. But here's the thing. When you think of leaders and people who are in charge of things, there's a difference. There are those who seem like they would be a good leader, and then there are those who can actually do the business of being a leader. Yeah. Because there's some people out there who, they seem like they make a good leader. They're charismatic. I mean, Adolf Hitler actually is a good example. Charismatic, not a great military strategist. <laughs> well, I went on, went, well, I would see it where they would put the designated leader, or person in charge of setting everything up, is either me or you. <laughs> Self-centered bastard. Anyway. <laughs> At least I was giving you credit. Yeah, no, I, I'm making a joke. I really... Yeah, bro. And then they ask, well, why not any of the others? Because like, they're too lazy to not even bother showing up or giving any messages about any events that are planned. D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, don't even get me started with that. And I, Constant... I pushed down on my Skype on, or my in-game channel. Like, yeah, speaking of D&D, &D, I wonder when the next round will be. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, I... Like, Jamie, shut up! <laughs> Well, I mean, the sad part is that's kind of true, though. I mean, the people don't know. For a time, we tried to schedule a D&D &D game. 
I was constantly sending people messages, hey, I'm trying to schedule it. Is this a good time for you? No. Is this a good time for you? No. What is a good time for you? For now, then later on. Oh, that's not a good time for me anymore. Why didn't you tell me later? So, yeah, the <laughs> organization thing is just... Ah, but... Well, you didn't have to worry about one person because that person was always messaging you. Yeah, no, you were always the one who said, hey, are we going to do it to me? And I would always be the guy to tell you, uh, no, because I'm messaging everyone else and getting nothing. They're not responding or there's no information. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it made it impossible to work with. So, And that's one of the reasons why if I ever have a job, I swear to God, if I have to work with other human beings, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> uh, unless, they're, unless I'm some sort of CEO and they're doing what I tell them to do. <laughs> I don't know. Just Yeah, I don't work well with others, usually. Not in regard. It depends. <laughs> you I work somewhat well with, but that's because we both have slight dedication to things like this. Oh, Although, yeah. recently, I have been the guy who's been, nope, I've been busy. I'll just say you had other things. Yeah. But on the bright side, I did inform you beforehand, I'm busy. Well, not, yeah. not just wait that's for you to tell always, me all the time. That's why I would always ask Friday, you have any planned or anything? Yeah, and then I tell you, and that's how planning works, right? I'm pretty sure we even had an argument about this in the last podcast about the importance yes. of planning. We probably did. <laughs> we, Look, that's when we brought it up. Too. There are certain things that we find very important and will probably appear multiple times in this event. <laughs> But it's true. I, I still find it funny. Or we just enjoy dissing on the others that aren't in this. Yeah, of now. course. <laughs> let's diss on them while they're not around. And then when they show up, let's just not talk at all. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> we'll just have or them we'll guest star. Or they don't just ignore it entirely. <laughs> we'll just have them guest star and then ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend they're not there. What? Did, did you hear a voice? I didn't hear anything. What? Uh, is that Nugs? What? <laughs> no, no. But, uh. No, I think Doug's would just get louder and louder on us if we did. He would. <laughs> that that's absolutely something he would do. Just get louder. Oh my God, Pierre would just. <coughs> I don't know what Pierre no, would do. Pierre would fall. probably just make a face at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and we wouldn't be able to see it anyway because we got our chat. So yeah, chat's now. I still do find it beautiful. Though. Oh man, I find it funny though that somebody asked who would be the leader, and I think it's interesting how there isn't really a leader. You just need someone who can actually do the business of organizing the things. Yeah. Hence why I said you and me. <laughs> so yeah, no, that's an interesting idea because again, a, a way that a lot of people don't think about this kind of stuff is like a company. <laughs> yeah, but even it with kind the, of is. Even with my other group I play with, I'm the one who organizes everything with them. Yeah. I'm going, what the hell? Why can't any of you? Yeah. Oh, it, wait, you're all still young. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like a company, right? It's kind of a matter of... And I'll make, you're in an interesting situation because you have either a period of no free time whatsoever or yep. periods of nothing but free time. Yeah. Whereas me, you know, I've still got things to do all the time. <laughs> There's always something. Live a life. Yeah, I, I have to live a life, sadly. I don't have a social life, but uh, I live a regular life. It requires me to do work and do things, but... How, how can you have a regular life without social life? Because you fucking can! <laughs> exactly, because I can! And also, I kind of choose not to. But uh, Social lives are not allowed in this group. If you're here and you have a social life, you need to get out. Get out now. So, uh, sorry, Nugs, can't have your... <laughs> no. okay. You have a social life. I can't be related. I made that joke with him before, actually. I've said, wait, you're socializing? We can't be friends anymore. <laughs> It's a oh joke, but... <laughs> you know what would be funny if he was actually one of our Twitch streams right now? Oh, if he was watching right now, the comments would be interesting. I keep checking the chats to see. Well, so, that's why I said I have my chat open right beside my outline. So. Yeah. I uh, don't have dual monitors, so all I'm looking at is basically the, uh... Well, the thing. The, uh, the, 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 the Twitch outline wallpaper. Aren't you able to split screen? I could? I'm just not doing it. I just come back and look because I mean, it takes you three seconds to go and look at another tab. Especially if you know it's how to lo- operate a it's keyboard. Also just easier to just do a split screen. Yeah, but again, if you know how to operate... <laughs> just too lazy. Yeah, but if you know how to operate a keyboard, shift tab. There. I'm there. Or alt tab. I'm there. <laughs> I did it, guys. Yeah, we're just too lazy to do shit half the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we're efficient. Oh, <laughs> uh, whichever. <laughs> You know, fucking matter to say fucking things. Uh, I mean, I'm being oh. extra efficient right now. I have a video. I finally recorded something over three weeks of not uploading anything. Currently being converted down into a smaller file. <laughs> I know. 
Applause. Where's my applause button? I need a button that just does plays an applause sound. I, I I really need one of those. I just need maybe just a button where I can just click, you know, kind of like the, uh, I guess, the GG button or the That Was Easy button. Just I would say that was easy, Click yeah. it. Well, and then that speaking happens. of our last podcast, we brought up a topic last time. Did we? I that, don't remember. <laughs> that, well, you mentioned it, and I, of course, was asked a question on one of my things. On, it was, I actually released it on Christmas, so... Oh the yeah. The little special I did. Christmas. I didn't I made a Christmas video and then I never uh, I uploaded it <coughs> and then I never did anything with it. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually a Warhammer 40k <coughs> video. Uh Dark Crusade. It's what? It's actually a Warhammer 40k Dark Crusade video. <laughs> Oh I'm pretty sure I did it. It what? was Chris. I think it was the Christmas Marines versus Krampus Chaos. That's what it was. Yes. But I, I of course released a little CS:GO crate opening. Oh, is my scene not up here? CS:GO crate opening. So, crate opening. Yeah. Which in our last podcast we mentioned um, microtransactions in games. How we both hate them. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Um, Your stream is being really but, weird right now. Uh, I noticed that earlier with Twitch too. But um, is it just not showing things right now? For some reason. I don't entirely know. It's bugged out. If but it's a black one, screen, oh well. They're here for the voices, not the screen. <laughs> yeah, and you can always add the picture later. Yeah, I can. I can just go but, back and edit. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, and they. One person messaged me. Uh, through person private message, I thought you said you hated microtransactions. Why'd you do it? Well, as I was trying to say in the last podcast, yeah, it's something that we don't like when it's the main focus of the game. To complete this Excuse game, you have to pay into it. Yeah, exactly. But pay to win. If it's something like CS:GO where it's skins, I'll do something like it. I'll do maybe ten crates or so mm -hmm. as a special for something. Because let's be honest, That's CS:GO is not pay to win. <laughs> No, and it's it's two fifty four key. If you don't already get it. Well, actually, Some last stuff. I checked, uh, your gun skins did uh, make you better um, than all the other players. So uh, yeah, it is definitely a uh, matter of pay to win. Now that I think about it, no, that's absolutely the case. It's pay to win. I've I figured out the flaw in the plan. Oh, hence why you're losing so much, huh? I don't actually or lose all that much. Correction. Hence why Gaben deranks you just so you can be ranked again. <laughs> that's always that's a weird thing in CSGO. I will never play it for a long period of time. I'll play it. It'll put me back at silver whatever. I'll play one game back up to where you were. Well, say I want to play CSGO with you again so I can get back up into my Novas. I've been deranked at silver three. You know, I just think it's funny, though, that that's what happens. Just back up to where you were, but, you know, we deranked you because you hadn't played in forever, but then you show that apparently it's like riding a bike. I need to get back up to my Nova 3. I don't remember I where I was. I read deranked to Silver 3 because that second fucking update they did. They didn't update? Uh, the update where they changed uh, the sprays of all their guns. Really? They supposedly changed it back. They haven't changed them all back. Well, here's the funny thing, though. People talk about that, and then... I actually think I've heard about that before a little bit. And people mention it, and they talk to me like it's a big deal, and I look at it and I go, I just don't fire a weapon like that. I fire it like they do in real life, and I do it in short, controlled bursts. I'll say short bursts, yep. For accuracy. I don't just unload. Yeah. That's, I guess, the other thing about it, right? Because... I actually study weapons tech a little bit because, like, it not interest me specifically medieval more than modern. But uh, and although That's I don't you have torture chamber downstairs, yes, yeah, don't tell anybody <laughs> about the rack, okay? But um, <laughs> for those of you wondering, no, I don't know where headset lives. I don't know what his house looks like or anything. Just Did somebody joke. just ask that? That would have been kind of funny no, there. no. So I had a, I had someone in this stream, so. <sighs> Or if there's anyone on YouTube before we get those comments. I have to buffer my own freaking stream. That's sad. <laughs> uh huh. Luckily, I only have it on so I know if my screen is displaying correctly. <laughs> Otherwise, the sound is muted. So. No, I, say, I think that's the main reason we both have it on. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have yours playing. I just have it up in case I see your chat have anything interesting. 
No, Chet's being lazy. Yep. Damn, Chat nothing. is empty. Bleep bleep blue. Oh well. <laughs> yep. But uh oh god, you know, speaking of what you call it, suddenly forget. Never mind. Oh <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you know, going back again, I have a tendency to go back to things. That's because I don't get out what I wanted to say then, so I just go back to it, but yeah, um, when when we were talking about the whole co-op thing, it's like Nugs and me. I know you know this, but Nugs and me start doing a co-op of Don't Starve together, and I haven't yeah, asked him yet. But I thought yeah, about so. asking him if I don't know who else has it. But I thought about asking him if maybe we could get some other people there. But then a thought crossed my head that went, "Wait, maybe I shouldn't ask that because I don't want to have to try and handle more than one people that don't know what they're doing compared to me." <laughs> I sound like I have Don't Starve. Yeah, you, yeah, just, hey, get him on board so he can do some work for me. It's absolutely fine. I think that's how I it's... have Don't Starve together, Beta. Yeah, that's, that's, all all that's all you would need. That's all you would need. Yeah, I have it. So it's kind of funny. I think it's funny how you have that, yet you don't have Don't Starve. Yeah, I don't know how I even got it. Eh, you know, just, it's there. Yeah. But yeah, um, you know what, though? I still find it funny. Cooperative gameplay, in general, it's always an enjoyable thing to do if you know the people and you're at least somewhat acquainted. Usually, right? It's still or fun to play. Or work with you and give you a schedule. That's yeah. why we're both <laughs> pissed off on certain. Yeah, uh, people. back to us griping about things. I think we're salty human beings. <laughs> well, it's not just your group or about our D and D. Yeah, it's I have, probably about. I have someone else I'm so. working with for Dead Island. Oh really? Yeah. Dead Island, the uh, he has the a... old one. Huh? Interesting. I wonder is that game on sale? I have money to spend. <laughs> I should probably I get that game honestly, just for the sake of being able to play it anyways. It was a decent game, nonetheless. Um, it, hell, it's seven dollars for the whole, six dollars for the whole both games. Really? For right what, now. Both of them. I could actually Deadline and Deadline Riptide, and that's Game of the Year editions for both. I could actually purchase that right now. And Deadline 2 it hasn't came out yet. Is that coming out? Yeah, I don't know since um, Jaeger's no longer involved in the game. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting, though. I could actually purchase both those games right now. I might even do that, but I'm probably not going to download it then. But yeah, that's... Just so you have. Yeah, just so I have them. You know? And hey, who yeah. knows, maybe I'm doing it as a way to socially engineer myself into your series. Anyway! <laughs> well, that's what I was about to mention. Yeah, get it? I fit you into this series somehow. Yeah. Let's do that, because we don't do enough together, and we should. <laughs> I, I like I just we don't do enough together, and we should. That didn't even describe what we should be doing. Just, we don't do enough of said thing here together, <laughs> but we should do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very descriptive. We, Insert well, your own imaginative story here. <laughs> well, we still ha well, we've both talked about the Sven co-op, we've talked about FTL challenge. Yeah, the FTL challenge, which we had a bit of a <laughs> tussle there. There was a bit of a miscommunication, <laughs> but oh well. Oh well, well, as soon as we both can have actual free time for it. Yeah, you know, free time, what's that? <laughs> never dear what of us have. I never heard of this free time you speak of. No. It's not been something that's... Have it. It's not something that's part of my vocabulary. <laughs> we're not o we're not Omega there. I'll admit I I have a serious problem of I've started to organize too many things with people because like or not I'm the kind of person that goes out and goes okay I'll organize, and now I have a serious issue of everybody wants to do everything on the weekend. So yeah, the problem that weekend. lies in that is if everybody wants to do everything on the weekend, I have no time to do anything on the weekend. <laughs> Well, yeah, hence why you being the DM for two D&Ds and me being the DM for one. Yeah. Uh, and, I just want to do the podcast at least once a month. Yeah, at least once a month, right? Yeah, exactly. If we can handle it. I, I would prefer if it were a weekly thing or not a daily, well, we, but... Oh, we can do it weekly. Yeah, but, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind either. It's just a matter of it's me just, having time to do it, it. It won't be my weekly live stream. It'll just be the weekly podcast. Yeah, obviously. I don't even live stream, so you know, I probably should, but I just don't want to get into it, and my upload is okay, but <laughs> my internet's not, like, the greatest because of the fact that there are other people in the building that use it, right, at different times. Uh, you're not the only one. 
So I'll admit, it's not the great, but also we don't pay for, you know, maximum internet, although I would, but we don't. That's true. So That's the kind of thing that, if I, you know, that's the kind of thing that, on, on the list of things that for me are must-haves for my general life. Computer. Desk. Comfortable chair. <laughs> video games. Best internet possible. Food is optional. <laughs> But no, actually, it's funny. I, I, even sitting on the floor, I would be okay with that so long as I can get comfortable, but... Uh. It's just one of those weird things, you know? There are certain limits that people have and certain things people don't, right? You know, I guess I'm going to ask you, what's something that you probably could not live without? What's something you think you could not live without, although it's not something that's actually needed for survival? It's something that you pretty much couldn't live without in general. Your life would be very drastically different if you didn't have it. For me? Yeah, for you. Oh, damn. Because, hmm. I mean, to give you time to think, I suppose, I will say one myself. Video games, actually, for me, are a big one because I don't actually have other forms of entertainment. Everything I watch when it comes to on the internet or play, it's always related to video games. Otherwise, it'd be maybe every now and then a Netflix show. But even then, half the things that I watch come from video games nonetheless, so... You know, my life would be drastically different if video games just weren't there. So. I wouldn't have anything to do. Yeah, I'd like to know, what's something kind of like that for you? <laughs> In my case, uh... Huh, I would have to say would be video games. <laughs> Again. <laughs> We're totally different people! <laughs> well, if you think... In my case, video games is my stress relief from work and all that. Video games is my everything that's not something I hate, so... And I have a long list of things I hate! So... Yeah, no. When people don't tell you when they can't do something after you organize it. <laughs> uh, salt. Anyway. <laughs> hey! I actually like salty foods. I like foods with salt a lot more than sweets, so that's actually kind of a realistic thing for me to say when I say I'm a salty human being. No, I'm actually probably salty. I probably consume more sodium than the average human should. Again, all I drink is a whole bunch of caffeine, so... <laughs> eh, I'm not big on energy. I drink... I'm always drinking something, but... That's well, not... Well, it's not... It's not caffeine, or it's not, uh, energy drinks for me. It's just, I mean, soda. I mean, I have low-calorie Gatorades, and there's really no point in drinking a low-calorie. If I want to, I might as well get the real thing. It's just, I think, cheaper for me to get it, so that's I'll why I do it. Cheaper. Right, and that's the other thing, right? Half the time, I know that as far as I'm concerned, I would just drink the unhealthy version, supposedly, but <laughs> it's just cheaper for me to get the one that's not, so. Yeah. You know, I'm always drinking something. I'm drinking something right now, so... <laughs> That what I just mentioned. So. I've been this whole time. That's why you hear the cans crush every so often. Uh, not cans crush, but if you hear, you know, just a slurp or whatever. But yeah, no, I'm always drinking a liquid. In fact, if I'm not, I usually have a problem. Which is also why my th I never lose my voice almost ever. <laughs> if you keep yeah. drinking liquid, you don't have that problem, and that's something I've tried to get through people's heads, but they don't listen. You know, another thing that people don't listen to. Oh boy, here we go. What? <laughs> More salts! Let's go! <laughs> you might as well keep this going. Yeah, why not? It's the trend. Oh. <laughs> A lot of people constantly uh, target Ubisoft specifically for this. Oh, really? They're releasing a game sequel every single year. I don't see a people... problem with that, personally. Well, it's a business Some people scheme. say it depends on the game. Because one that's most common for it, yes, Ubisoft Assassin's Creed. Right. They release one every single year. It's a business style, right? I mean, a good example is Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, and so on. Like it or not, there are casual gamers out there. I wouldn't even call them gamers half the time, but I'm very strict on what determines if you're a nerd or a gamer because I'm a <laughs> hipster nerd. I was before it was cool, but no, 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 but... Still, I'll admit that, yeah, when it comes to things like that, they still make a ton of money, and that's why they do it. They're they're doing it to make money. They're not doing it to actually please the people. <laughs> yep. In a sense. It's because right. people are stupid enough to buy the game. Well, it's not even about being stupid, though. Glitches. If, if somebody, for example, if somebody, 
if all they need for gaming is to play Destiny or something like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed, and that's it, that's when they play that every now and then and they're happy, and, you know, they purchase a console or they have that on the computer, that's fine. Then it serves its purpose, because the whole point of video games is to entertain you. It serves its purpose, and it made somebody money. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. But yeah. it's when the company prides itself on the fact that it's not like those companies, and then they don't pull through with that, that it's a problem. Well, right? that's true. Where So, you know, I'd, I'd say that, you know, a good example would probably be... Also, the guys that made FTL, Subset, right? They, uh... They're the kind of people who... People will look at, and they, if they make another game, they expect it to be good, they expect it to be entertaining, and they expect it to have, you know, it, it to be intriguing, right? Like FTL was, in a sense. Because that's yeah. kind of what they're built around. Most indie game developers are like that, in the sense of, it's going to be different from buying a AAA title, right? Yeah. As long as it's intriguing and you enjoy it, right? Because FTL, graphically... It's not, you know, Skyrim or something like that, but it's still graphically appealing. Yeah. I look at Minecraft and I say that's not graphically appealing, which some might say that makes no sense if you think FTL is, but at the same time, I have extreme prejudice against Minecraft, so... Yeah, just say... Also, there's you're... those things they call texture packs, so... <laughs> I suppose there's that. Well... Uh, I just... That's actually something that... <laughs> well, I just got that's something that I think you might want to t go into detail on too, on which is I do. Particular. Uh, oh well, is I know. It? You know, I know that you're big on <coughs> reviewing games to an extent. It's yes. fine. A lot of people that I know love to review games. And I look and I go, 